I was scrolling through the comments and saw one that said, hey, you should try out for World Chase Tag. Now, for those of you that don't know, World Chase Tag is just like any other game of tag, but with obstacles. So as you can imagine, this game of tag is actually quite intense. Launches himself over the sisters, little bits of the way. And I speak from experience, because yes, I've already been on World Chase Tag as part of Team No Cap. How I got into World Chase Tag, well, that's a different story. It all started when COVID hit. See, while everyone was hiding inside, me and the boys would go out and train and get clips. Now this training group started out with just four of us. We had my boy Franco, my boy Wes, oh yeah, oh yeah, and my boy DJ. And then of course there was me. We had a group chat on Instagram where we would basically plan out where and when our next training sessions were gonna be. And this group chat was called No Cap. And we called it this because Good basically job. if we caught any of the boys lacking, we would give them a cap. And well, naturally, none of us wanted that. So collectively, we all agreed that our main goal was just to not cap. Now, if it was just the four of us, we probably would have never made it to World Chase Tech. The reason this was all possible was because of our good friend Joey Adrian. Somehow this man ended up in our group chat even though he lived 28 hours from us. So obviously he wasn't showing up to any of our training sessions. But honestly that's all besides the point because Joey was the key to us getting into World Chase Tag. Joey had already competed at World Chase Tag before they came to the US. So in 2020 when WCT came to Atlanta, Joey was asked to make a team. Of course Joey hit up the group chat and then of course we all said yes. We just needed one more person to make a six man team and that's when we picked up Jared Ludy, who is a Texas legend and a good friend of ours. So our team was officially set and it was time to compete. Now, and to the tilted cube and jittery legs from Caden Harbo. Just suggesting he might go one way. This time he commits to go around the loading bay and it's paid off for him. And we have a level game at one apiece. Now, I wouldn't say our team was the best, but we definitely put up a fight and definitely put on a show. Those legs moving away from our point. Joey Adrian has managed to do it. How has he done? To Andre Jones. Oh my, that is not an experience he would want to relive. Said he wanted to bring the steez here in Atlanta. But World Chase Tag 2020 was absolutely insane, which is why we were all super stoked when we got invited back to World Chase Tag 2021. Only this time, it was a little bit different. See, my boy Jared got picked up by the team GNM. And shortly after that happened, Wes got sent over to Hollywood Freerunners. The four of us were kind of bummed about this, but everything still ended up working out. We picked up AJ and Nige to be part of the no cap squad. Our team overall did pretty good this season as we made it through two rounds before getting knocked out in the third. Finally, I have yet to hear any word of a World Chase Tag 2022 happening. But if it does, I hope that the No Cap Squad gets invited back for a third time. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.